एवरीवन वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ग्रीटिंग्स टू एवरी वन फॉर अ स्पार्कलिंग दिवाली एंड अ प्रॉस्परस न्यू ईयर टुडे इट्स अबाउट द दिवाली न्यू मून ऑफ लीब्रा इन विशाखा नक्षत्र एट 26 सिक्स डिग्रीज दिस न्यू मून द सन एंड द मून आर कंजॉइंट इन लीब्रा दैट इज नोन फॉर इक्वालिटी जस्टिस एंड अवर क्लोज रिलेशंस it can bring balance and harmony where libra is placed in our chart see great minds are coming together here sun moon mars with jupiter's aspect along with uranus the discussion will be mostly about the relations the business everything about the world togetherness and bringing happiness also being fair with our own self and with others this libra new moon can bring increased understanding about our relations how we deal in partnerships we can have some sweet pleasant and heart to heart talk on any complex issues of our life if you have no idea where to start from then this new moon can provide you some brilliant ideas new and different options to explore and discuss start a fresh from here this day will open the doors for everyone to work on all kinds of personal and professional relations expect some sudden correction changing our equation with others and permanently transform things where aries and libra is placed in our chart we have this new moon at the same 26 degrees of solar eclipse of october rahu is still at 29 degrees of pisces in gandanta uranus is also at 26 degrees in aries aspecting this new moon the sun and also the mars who is at 28 degrees at same vishakha nakshatra where this new moon is happening there can be a new beginning in our close relations after some conflict maybe or realizing some hard facts of our relations here saturn is in dhanishtha nakshatra mars is nakshatra and this can be very supportive as saturn is trying to this new moon in libra then the nakshatra lord of vishakha jupiter also has an aspect from aries and jupiter is retrograde in bharni nakshatra at the moment and the lord of bharni and libra venus is debilitated in virgo and is heading towards ketu lastly mercury is placed in the transformative sign of scorpio all these signify some dramatic sudden changes and diversion in the current situation of course not on the same day but things can start from here or within the span of next 15 days till the full moon with every new moon we have been given an opportunity to set some new goals to work upon and with every new connections among these planets we are taking a step forward to manifestation of our goals and this new moon is special being diwali day it's a day of celebration creating light where there is darkness the new moon in libra and venus its lord can bring balance and harmony in the matters related to our relations love comfort and our finances venus and libra both signify some brilliant diplomacy with proper negotiation while dealing with any complex matters expect some major discussions 
interesting communications and the goal is to come to a fair conclusion we have debulated sun in libra so in a way it is the best time to shade our ego and self centered approach for others and this can maintain our relations another important point is saturn having an aspect on aries and on uranus and jupiter the lord of vishakha where this new moon is happening both saturn and jupiter can bring some radical changes growth and some long term development can be expected related to aries and libra axis this combined aspect along with the moon in vishakha can certainly bring some diversion which is the theme of this vishakha nakshatra vishakha is a forked branch giving some diversion or a new direction with more options new opportunities and a different path which can change the current situation vishakha is a star of purpose and it represents immense energy power passion and teamwork and this new moon can be the starting point of all the modifications that we are expecting since a very long time being jupiter's star there will be always wisdom and understanding to handle any difficult circumstances the next 15 days are very active with all the aspects and the connections that moon makes especially towards the full moon of 27th november the impact of this new moon can be very strong and can stay with us in the upcoming time moon is conjunct mars here in vishakha nakshatra and is opposite to jupiter and uranus then we have new moon conjunct mercury in scorpio anuradha nakshatra where saturn has its 10th aspect surely it won't be pleasant on mental level expect fear with no clear thinking but it is the best time to structure our plans and make necessary changes at root level moon is also heading towards gandanta from here on 16th of november moon will enter mool nakshatra and will have jupiter's ninth aspect this can restore some optimism and hope in us for our future then on 18th of november moon will conjunct mighty and transformative pluto in capricorn at 4 degrees we will continue to have that transformative energy as the same day we have sun and mars degree conjunction in scorpio vishakha nakshatra from here sun will make a move ahead of mars after couple of months and this indicates now the authorities elders and bosses will take a lead now no more giving orders to others or instructing them but actively participating in everything we have saturn and moon conjunction on 28th of november in aquarius at 6 degrees and mars has aspect on it this can give some suffocating feeling with no or little action then moon in pisces will conjunct neptune and rahu in pisces and this can further create dualities and confusion on a positive note this moon has an aspect of venus and expect some new beginning as moon crosses gandanta pisces gandanta and enters aries here moon will conjunct jupiter first certainly this will give some new developments some movements in everything that we are working on here 
from here there will be a new start and from here we are heading towards full moon and some interesting connections with that on 27th of november we have full moon in taurus rohini nakshatra its own nakshatra and exalted moon at 10.45 degrees the same day we have venus tightly conjunct ketu at 28 degrees jupiter is back in ashwini nakshatra while in retrogression and jupiter will be in its exalted cancer novamsha mercury will also cross scorpio gandanta and will enter sagittarius all this is happening one after another on 27th of november on the full moon day expect some ending completion and concluding impact of something significant which can change our future path or our direction expect results of vishakha nakshatra more towards this taurus full moon now let us see how this new moon will impact each sign or ascendant review or reconsider everything related to aries and libra sign in our chart also do check if you have any planet close to this 27 degrees in your chart that planet or cusp may have the most impact of this new moon expect some breakthrough new and different direction from here in that area but do maintain balance in any challenging situation that's the goal start from aries for aries the new moon brings new beginning in the way you deal within your close relations and can bring out any imbalance in those relationships it will impact you personally your identity will encourage you to set new personal goals for your health and let go wherever there is a need taurus for you this new moon is all about bringing discipline in your day to day life in your work zone and stay healthy expect some development in your plans to travel abroad making changes is most beneficial thing for you and letting go of what is not required can help you grow in your life it is the time to reduce your expenses spend some time alone and reflect on your lifestyle to maintain good health gemini it is a very good time to sharpen your skills come out of your comfort zone and improve your work style use the blessing of life for the betterment of others and share your ideas with your children and your friends you can have some diversion on the path your children are walking work to increase your network your friends build up relations and have your peace of mind cancer this new moon can bring a shift on your home front or change in your career there can be relocation or renovation at home it can strongly impact on your peace of mind and your family bonding but do avoid any ego clash or some conflict it can charge up your work life can give you new career and different goals to work upon you may have elevated status position and a leadership role leo this new moon can create such circumstances that may demand more efforts from your side some traveling it can push you beyond your comfort zone and can bring some new opportunities it can expand your horizons with new learnings your vision can change with new beliefs your trust in your own beliefs and learnings can increase this is the best time to express your ideas and free yourself from any burden don't be stubborn and adapt change at each level virgo 
द एम ऑफ दिस न्यू मून इज टू मॉडिफाई एंड ब्रिंग सम बैलेंस इन योर फाइनेंशियल मैटर्स योर फैमिली बॉन्ड्स अलॉन्ग विथ योर हेल्थ योर वर्ल्ड कैन चेंज फ्रॉम योर मे बी योर होम और द वे यू डील विद रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एस्पेशली योर रिलेशंस कैन चेंज ऑल्सो रिवाइज द वे यू डील विद चैलेंजेस बी फॉर्म इन मेकिंग चॉइजेस बट स्टिल मेंटेन बैलेंस वेल डीलिंग विद एनी चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन लिब्रा दिस न्यू मून कैन ट्रिगर यू पर्सनली एंड विल करेक्ट bring balance within your close relations it is all about you your health and your image let go of any hatred or any revenge forgive others for their mistakes and release yourself from the fear of not being included everywhere your strength may increase by knowing your own mistakes and staying clear about your relations and how you are going to play a role in that scorpio this new moon can bring you more awareness of your family values finances along with what makes you happy this is the time to reflect seriously on your health and discipline in your life get into some research work and stay focused to gather more knowledge to explore something new it is the time to focus on what needs letting go and stay flexible with all the changes in the way you work sagittarius this new moon can fulfill your desires can get you rewards and can bring out your expressive and creative side It is the time to make new connections, work on your personality, change your home or do something or everything differently. It is not always about planning. Now you can take some action, be creative and share your ideas with your circle. Capricorn, with this new moon you will shine in your work zone. you may experience some positive result of your work in your social life and in your career you may also feel homely think of relocating some renovation and focus can be related to your family having stability and your peace of mind this is the time to travel more increase your courage and build your new image Aquarius it is the time to follow your bosses or your elders use their wisdom their experience with this new moon you may find some sudden awareness and that can modify your fixed opinions you may travel improve your knowledge and your communication expect a new start with your family life and your finances will get better you may have success and rewards at all levels pisces there can be a strong need for change with some improvement in your career or some change in your values with this new moon your focus can be to have satisfaction in your life with family with your finances this new moon can bring some new ways to be emotionally and financially secure it is good to be gentle and improve your communication with your family but also work on your health that was all about all 12 ascendants or your moon sign whichever you follow to summarize this new moon can help you feel more balanced and also encourages you to work on your relations and your financial goals with vishakha nakshatra it offers an opportunity to emotionally divert change the way you feel reset take a new and different approach but avoid being indecisive here libra is an air sign our thoughts can make us inactive also that is too much of thoughts 
venus and ketu conjunction towards the full moon of 27th of november that can help us to let go and release whatever is not working in our life to have the best results we can also declutter and beautify our surroundings to feel relieved that is it for this session i hope this was helpful best wishes to everyone with this new moon and the new year thank you for your time do write in your comments and your queries and i'll see you all soon thank you